I always tell you on this channel that an allergic reaction is just one body system being affected, like hives by itself, where anaphylaxis is two or more body systems being affected. That's like wheezing and nausea vomiting. I wanna share with you a call I had when I was a brand new paramedic, doing my precepting, getting ready for my med control ride with the doctor. I'm working alongside a senior paramedic and we went to a call for an allergic reaction. I really hope sharing this call with you will help you in your practice. So we have a three person crew. We have the EMT, we have the senior paramedic and myself as a new certified paramedic going through with precepting. We're en route to the call. We get dispatched, no lights and sirens to an allergic reaction call. Interesting, right? So we're, thankfully we're pretty close to the scene and we get there, it's our last call of the shift. We get there and the patient has a swollen tongue, nausea, vomiting on scene as well with that, difficulty breathing, and it's an elderly female patient with about four or five family members on scene. So I've already learned one thing to remember when you're out there as a new medic. The dispatch information, take it in, but you never know what you really have until you get there. So don't get too comfortable as a new medic. So I start my assessment, doing a physical exam. We, we make sure the patient is alert and oriented. She is. GCS 15, it is. So the patient's pretty calm and relaxed. Heart rate's a little elevated, but not too much. Blood pressure a little elevated, not too much. So the patient is stable at this time, but obviously is having a reaction. So we start our albuterol and we start moving the patient down the, st down the uh, stair chair into the ambulance. So it's a pretty quick maneuver to get the patient into the ambulance. I always tell you, don't sit on scene. We have a critical patient. So we start to move as paramedics, we can do things in route. So we're doing the IV, I'm about to give medications, and my senior paramedic comes to me and says, what medications are you gonna give right now? And off the top of my head, I'm concerned about giving Epi. As you may know, one of the special considerations about Epi is elderly, seniors, who wanna caution giving epinephrine. But obviously if someone's in anaphylaxis, we gotta give epinephrine. For some reason, I was hesitant to give epinephrine and I was ready to go with Benadryl and Albuterol and Zofran, but epinephrine, I was like, ah. I was almost thinking, does she need it right now? I was almost thinking more about, well, she's not in shock. The vibe of that, the preceptor felt and said, Evan, go ahead and give epi. And I'm like, okay. Now, here's the big thing I learned about on this call. It's one thing you see it, in, a, in the textbooks, but when you see it right in front of you, it's a lot different. There's really three levels. We have a simple allergic reaction. Let's say somebody has hives and that's it. Anaphylaxis is when two or more body systems are being affected. Notice I'm not talking about them being in shock and I'm not talking about them having a low blood pressure. I'm talking about two or more body systems being affected. That's anaphylaxis. That's an emergency. We got to stop that process now before it gets the anaphylactic shock. We don't wait to give epi when they're in anaphylactic shock. We give it when they're showing signs of anaphylaxis and we give all the meds right away. So I need a little push, a little coaching there. That's why you do your precept thing to give the epinephrine. Like, yeah, this is a time where screw the considerations, give it. All right, so I went ahead and gave the epidemic patient, patient smooth, rest of the ride, get to the hospital, transfer of care, everything looks good. My senior paramedic, at the, we're going back to the, the cruise quarters, says, hey, look, you did a great job today, but we got to talk about the anaphylaxis call. Open the protocols, reason. Allergic reaction, one body system. Anaphylaxis, two or more body systems. Notice in there, nothing about shock, just one or the other. And the treatment for anaphylaxis, right underneath. So this is a reminder to all of you, the same thing goes with sepsis and anaphylaxis. Remember that shock 
And it's the lesson here. We want to use our medications and use our tools, use our knowledge. When the patient's in that middle area, let's say they're an anaphylaxis or the receptic, don't hold off. Don't be conservative. Don't be cautious when they're in that state. You want to be aggressive when they're in that state so they don't end up going into shock because you waited too long, right? So that was the big lesson I learned on that. I hope this call helps you in your practice. Now, if you're someone getting ready for school, maybe you're in school right now, or you're someone getting ready for your national registry exams, hit the first link in the description down below. This is what I give to all my students in that exact scenario. It includes 420 videos of content plus access to our private community group to ask me questions and interact with other paramedic coach students and you get lifetime access to the whole thing. It includes EMT, AMT, paramedic, and responder. I will see you down below. First link. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.